Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making chocolate truffles. So let's get started. To make this recipe, you'll need cream, semi-sweet chocolate, and anything you want to roll them in. It could be cocoa powder, shredded coconut, toasted nuts, or even sprinkles. First off, we're gonna grab a pot in a medium bowl, and I need about like maybe two inches of water in here, so fill it up. And we're gonna make basically our own double boiler to melt our chocolate and cream. You could do this in a microwave, but um, I don't know. I like it on a double boiler. So we're using 12 ounces or 454 grams of a nice semi-sweet chocolate. This is a chocolate treat, so you wanna have a nice chocolate. If you only have chocolate chips at home, here's a little secret. I've made this using chocolate chips and no one can tell. Chocolate truffles are a treat that look super fancy. You can like add a lot of different flavors to them. There's one step that gets a little bit messy, but I had an idea when I was planning this video. So we're gonna try a no mess way of making them. If see if it works as an option. I'm very excited about that part. You wanna give your chocolate a fine chop because if you have a big piece here, it's gonna take a little longer to melt and you're just gonna be hanging around. I wanna melt this just until it's melted. I don't wanna get it too hot. It's part of the reason I'm not using a microwave today. If you are using a microwave, 50% power, 30 second bursts. And just give it a stir. Into the bowl. I also wanna add 180 mils or three quarters of a cup of heavy cream to this. This will give us a silky, delicious ganache. You don't have to use cream. I might add maybe a bit of coffee in there. You could add in some bourbon in there. You could add like literally any flavor, any spices you love. Make this recipe your own and let me know in the comments what you would add to your amazing ganache. Right onto our pot of simmering water. You don't wanna make your chocolate too hot, like I said before, because it has to cool completely in the fridge. So why do that to yourself? Just gentle heat, the cream will warm up, it'll melt the chocolate, and you're just stirring occasionally until it's almost all melted. You can always leave a little bit of the chocolate unmelted because there's a lot of residual heat in here and it'll just complete the process off heat. While you're occasionally stirring, you might as well do some more prep work. I love a silky, like chocolate little treat that's covered in toasted pecans. You could use walnuts, like anything that you enjoy will work to cover these. So I think I just need maybe like half a cup for this. I'm gonna give this a fine chop because we wanna have small pieces. And then you can just give them a really light toast in the oven or even on the stove top. They just need a few minutes. These are going into the oven, 350 for just a couple minutes. I'm gonna keep an eye on them. Whenever you toast nuts, just make sure you give them a stir, not with your fingers, halfway through the toast because the outside burns first. This is coming along. You can see it's really nice and silky. I'm taking it off heat. Now we're ready to chill our ganache and I have some very important information for you here. You could put this into anything you want that has like a smaller area. So a small six inch cake pan, a loaf pan, all that stuff will work. Pour it right in. I'm reserving just a little bit for my experiment. We'll see how that works out. This can go into the fridge for one hour. I've made a mistake and I wanna share how not to do this. If you chill this for too long, it becomes too cold and then you can't roll it. It's a nightmare. So all you want is one hour in the fridge. When that comes out, it should feel like Play-Doh. So I know that some of you might not like the idea of like rolling the chocolate in your hands because it can get a little bit messy. We're gonna try this out. These are little molds, they're silicone. So I'm just gonna fill a little bit of chocolate in some of these. We're gonna chill these as well and see if they pop out so that you can make this with no mess. There we go. This goes into the fridge to chill as well. And then we'll be back in one hour. My ganache is almost ready. <laughs> I'm just gonna add these pecans that have been toasted nicely. I've been nibbling on them, by the by, into that bowl. And I'm setting up like a dipping station basically because what you should do, roll and goes directly into your covering. A little cocoa powder, some chocolate sprinkles, shredded unsweetened coconut. But in the past, I've done many things, including using sweetened coconut that I toast. Gives a nice color, a little bit of a deeper flavor. Just like that, I'm ready to roll these out. So we're gonna pull these out of the fridge and get to work. Let's see how this rolls out. It's gonna be a little bit messy. I warned you about that at the beginning of the video, but what is life but a bit of mess? Quick, quick, quick roll, doesn't have to be perfect. And then right into your uh, 
your outer covering. Just roll that along, and for the nuts, I like to just do some pressing. We're gonna repeat that for all of the other flavorings as well. All right, coconut. I get a lot of questions on this post about how long does this last for? I would say at least a week in the fridge, probably two. Just pop it in an airtight container so it doesn't collect any of the nonsense that's hanging around in your fridge. If it's a warm day and this is melting up, or if you notice there's a change in consistency, like the center of mine is a little bit warmer, then what you could do is um, just pop it back in the fridge. It's totally fine. And just remember, for these guys, it's a fine balance between spending too much time in the fridge and not enough. You want the consistency of these to be like Play-Doh or almost like slightly softened butter. Let's check on those other truffles. The only question is, will they pop out? What do you think? Oh. This one's gonna get coated in a little bit of coconut. One thing is, it is colder, so it doesn't accept as much of the covering, but it's fine. The covering is that there so your fingers don't melt when you touch it. Did you know that? Okay, that's so good. So you can also use a little silicone mold. Silicone molds, pop the candies out, and look how neat this looks. Do you see that? Yeah, we need to like maybe glue these together. So let's see if this works. That looks pretty good. So the experiment worked, how cool. Okay, so you can have like either half sphere, like little bite-sized ones, or a full sphere. All you need is a silicone mold. I'll put this uh, link up for the mold in the description box so you guys can get that. Let me know in the comments which you like best. Mm. That's pure chocolate indulgence. I hope you get a chance to make this, and if you like this recipe, check out my chocolate playlist.